Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Corey and we are here at the library today and it is exciting because this week we're going to be talking about our community helpers, the police department. Yes, they are great. They serve and protect us every day. And a few days ago, Larry, Caesar, and I had the opportunity to go pay a visit to our very own Mifflinburg Police Department. And we met with Chief Hackenbird, and he showed us around the station, and he read us a story. And I have Larry and Caesar here with us. Let's go ahead and show. Here they are. There's Caesar. Hi, Caesar. And here's Larry, all decked out in his own little police car. Hey, Larry, how are you? Um, uh, good, I guess. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So, boys, did you enjoy your visit to the police station as much as I did? Uh, yes, I did. Yes. My favorite part was when I was in the police car. And Caesar's favorite part was, let me guess, either the story or when he showed us how to put his uniform um, gadgets on. Which one was it? The story? No, the stories are good. But Oh, you like the gadgets. Well, I really liked the story. And boys and girls, the story that Chief Hackenberg read for us, I'll put it up here next to Caesar, was the I want to be a police officer story. So why don't we take a moment and hear from Chief, Chief Hackenberg all about how I want to be a police officer. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Corey and today we're at the Mifflinburg Police Department and we're here with Chief Hackenberg and he's gonna read us a story about police officers. Isn't that exciting? Great, well stay tuned and we'll listen to Chief Havenberg read a story about wanting to be a police officer. Cool. Hi boys and girls, how are you? My name's Chief Hackenberg. I'm the Chief of Police here at the Mifflinburg Police Department. You've probably seen our cars driving around through town a lot. And some of you may even remember me if you went to school. I was the uh, police officer at the elementary school last year. So today we're going to read, I want to be a police officer. So I'm going to put my glasses on for this. So, first page is, and it's, I want to be a police officer by Laura Driscoll. I am learning about bike safety. Officer Green checks my helmet. Looks good, Eva, she says. Snug around your head. The strap fits well. You are ready to ride. Officer Green is in the bike tent at the town safety day. She already put more air in my tires. She put a bell on my handlebars. She tested my brakes. I know Officer Green from school. Officer Green is at school when we have fire drills. I have seen Officer Green all around town. She makes me feel safe. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. I see lots of police officers at Town Safety Day. One of them has a dog. I'm Officer Bell, he says. This is Gus. Officer Bell and Gus are in the canine unit. Gus is a search and rescue dog. You see Gus? Gus uses his sense of smell to find missing people, says Officer Bell. I love animals. Officer Bell is so lucky, he gets to be a police officer with a dog partner. Another police officer is making ID cards for kids. She takes my photo and my fingerprints. She tells me, it will be handy for your parents to have this ID card in, case, in an emergency. The officer's name is Detective Lynn. A detective, I say. Can, do you solve mysteries? Sort of, says Detective Lynn. When a crime takes place, I try to find out what happened, and I make a lot of phone calls. I talk to a lot of people, and I ask a lot of questions. I am good at asking questions. Maybe I should be a detective. Trooper Jones is talking to the police about, excuse me, Trooper Jones is talking to the kids 
about car safety. He even lets us in his police car. See the police car? Hmm, I am pretty good at remembering rules. I would probably be a good state trooper. Officer Perez hands out flyers about wilderness safety. He is the game warden. Is that like a police officer for the woods, I ask? Yes, says Officer Perez. I love working in the garden out, excuse me, in the great outdoors. He probably liked working in the garden too. On the way home, I see police officers in the parking lot. They keep the traffic moving, slowly but safety, safely. One officer stops the car so I can walk my bike across the road. It's Officer Green. Did you have fun at Town Safety Day, Officer Green asks me. Yes, I say. I did not know there were so many ways to be a police officer. Police officers work hard to make every day a safe day. The end. Thank you, Chief Hackenberg. That was a great story. I appreciate that. And how long have you been a police officer? Uh, 26 years. That is a great career. Thank you so much for serving our community and protecting us every day. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a great story by Chief Hackenberg. I really enjoyed that. Did you like that story, Larry? Um, yes, I very did. I'm so glad. And how about you, Caesar? Did you like it, too? Yeah, as you can see, we have some other fun-looking books here at the library that talk about our police and how wonderful they are. This is just a small sample, and now that you can come in and browse, you're welcome to come down and see them. So, yay! I know, it's so exciting. So in our next video that we have with Chief Hackenberg, he demonstrates your favorite part, Caesar, the uniform of the police officer. And you look especially handsome dressed up as a police officer today, doesn't he, Larry? I thought he was a firefighter. <laughs> Very good, Larry. No, he's a police officer. He has his hat on, his uniform. We can see his badge right here. And what is that you have in your hand? Oh, oh, I know what that is. That's a cell phone. I know what it is. No, it's not a cell phone, but it works like a cell phone. What is it, Larry? It is a walkie-talkie. It's a walkie-talkie. Very good. And what do we use a walkie-talkie for? To communicate with other police officers. That's right, to communicate with other police officers. And um, you've got some other tools with you, don't you, Caesar? You have a whistle somewhere. So you can direct traffic. I'm not sure. Oh, here's your whistle. Here's your whistle right here. So you can direct traffic. You want to practice blowing it? <laughs> well, nice try. We'll keep practicing on that. And you also have a pair of handcuffs. Yes, the handcuffs. Aren't those awesome? Oh, that's right. Because you've had great experience with handcuffs, haven't you, Larry? You could call it great. <laughs> well, how about we watch the next video segment and we can learn all about that? Yeah, you like that idea. Okay, we'll go watch that one. Okay, boys and girls, so Chief Hackenberg is now going to show us some cool gadgets he gets to carry on his uniform. So let's take a watch. So one of the neat things we have here, this is, I think a lot of you probably have seen these. This is called a taser. And what this is, is a, almost like a gun, but instead of shooting bullets, it can shoot these darts out of here that have wires on them. And then the wires have an electrical charge in it that can make somebody's muscles seize up and they go to the ground. And that lets us take control of them without actually having to maybe wrestle with them or fight with them. Now what the way this thing works is, the, and I'll just notice I don't have my finger anywhere on the trigger, there's this green box here, that's where the probes come out of but you can take that off, okay? Now the probes won't come out, but when I turn it on and you can see, it has a flashlight on it and also a red dot. That's where the probes would go. 
But without them in there, when I pull this trigger, you'll see a little spark go across there. Wow. I hope you could see that. Um, and that spark is actually what, if I put this on somebody or I, I put it right up against their body and then squeeze that trigger, that sends the same electrical charge through a person's body the same way this would. And that just sits right here in, the in our its little holster. Over here, we do have a gun. I'm not going to take it out because that would be dangerous. But that <laughs> the actual gun will shoot bullets. And we only use that as an absolute last resort. We don't even take it out unless we absolutely have to. And then the other thing is just, we have extra bullets here. Um, I don't have my radio on, and th but this thing here, this is called a tourniquet. And this is to help people say to help save lives. If you're injured and bleeding really bad, we can take this out and we can put it on ourselves if we have to, but we could put it on somebody else if we had to. And what you sure. do with that is it puts it, like let's say somebody's got a really bad cut and they're bleeding, put it around the leg, it ties up, and it'll help stop the bleeding yeah. until we can get you to the hospital. And for the most part, that's all I have on me. But what we can do then is we'll go out and we'll show you one of the cars outside. Great, thank you. Okay, kids, here's what we're going to do is we'll show you one of our police cars. And you can see it has it's marked up on the outside. It says Mifflinburg Police on it. We have lights all over it, red and blue lights, that show so everybody can see what it is when it's coming down the road. And I'll show you what the siren sounds like in a minute, too, and that'll be a little real loud. But what the inside is, and you see i got a special driver here today who's helping out. I think you all recognize who that is. That's Caesar! <laughs> Yay! So Caesar's helped me out by showing us how this works. And on the inside, you can see we have a computer. And in that computer, we can run all sorts of records and driver's licenses and things like that. And we can even check up on each other's uh, where we're at, where we're parked or where we're running radar, or excuse me, not radar, but speed enforcement. Up there at the very top near the mirror, that's a camera. So when somebody's in front of the car, that video records what's going on. And right next to it over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but that's how we can see what's being recorded. That's kind of like what, like on the on your phone, what you're looking at. Nice. And then down here is we have a radio and a speed timing device, and that that blue thing there, that's what makes the lights and the siren sound. So if I reach in here and push one of these buttons, And then we also have, if you, you can lean in there a little bit, right between the seats. That's one of our rifles we use if we ever have a real bad situation and we need to have a little bit bigger gun to use. That's a special rifle with a scope on it that we can take and use. And then and you can also see in between here, that's a cage that keeps the, back, the bad guys in the back and keeps them away from the police officers in the front. And Caesar already has somebody in the back seat. <laughs> and I think maybe you'll recognize who this is, too. <laughs> Larry. Larry found himself in a little bit of trouble, so he's going to have to answer for it, but I'm sure you'll see him again as soon as he makes bail. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. That's what the police car looks like. If you walk around the front, you can just see how many lights we have that light up. And it doesn't look like a whole lot during the daytime because it's... It's not that bright, but at nighttime, all those red and blue lights light up the whole sky and light up everything so people know where we're at. And we have a couple different police cars, and this is the police station here. This is also the borough office. Your mom or your dad may come down here to pay the bills uh, for their electric, but we have one side of the building, and the borough office is on the other side. Good. Well, thank you, Chief Hackenberg. We really appreciate it. No, thank you, guys. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you out there. Larry, you're in handcuffs again. I don't know why I'm in handcuffs. <laughs> I bet Caesar knows, don't you, Caesar? What did I do? What did he do? Let me guess. Um, could it be because you tried to steal the real handcuffs from Chief Hackenberg? Uh -oh. <laughs> no, no. No, we returned those, didn't we? Um... Well, I did hear something on the radio about a candy thief. That wouldn't be you, would it, Larry? Um, <laughs> uh, Caesar's so excited about that he's lost his hat. Do you think he's the candy thief? Larry wouldn't steal candy, would you, Larry? Yeah, I really like one type of candy. 
What kind of candy do you like? Uh, the Smarties. Oh, Smarties. Those are good candies. They just said they make me smarter. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I think we've got some Smarties at home. Oh, we just knocked our books over. I think we have some Smarties at home, and I'll bring them for you the next time I have them, okay? Okay. All right. Well, I'm so glad that you guys had fun touring the Mifflinburg Police Department. And a special thanks to Chief Hackenberg for his help in making these videos and to the rest of the police department for all their faithful service to our community. We really appreciate it. I hope that you guys have a great week and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.